Hello guys, this is CTX TV on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to multibox in World of Warcraft. Uh, this tutorial is only gonna use, I'm only gonna use two characters so uh, if you want to use more than one or two characters then uh, I'll, uh, I'll maybe upload a video later for that but um, I'll just use two for a start. So the first thing you want to do is download a program called HotKeyNet. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, the thing you want to do is you want to download HotKeyNet and then you are going to open it. It's going to come in a zip file. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You just extract it to, this, to your desktop and then you just open it up. Um, but you are you're going to want to need more than this. Um, it comes with a basic strip, script on its site and it is very poor. I, I did some research on the internet and uh, I found this own own script that uh, that you can do. Um, I'm, I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, I'm just gonna not explain this for the start. I'm just gonna open this up and show you uh, since you can just copy paste this and then put it into the, the thing. So once you get this, copy your link, put it in a text file. And then you're just gonna load the script, and then you load the script, and then it's gonna say this, probably. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this so far. So the thing is, you're gonna want to open two World of Warcrafts. As you can see, I have two World of Warcraft. This is my main account, and this is my my multiboxing account. So my main account, I'm just gonna go in Bladefist, create a new character. Let's just create a human. It's it, and for the record, I would I would recommend you using a ranged uh, class because using melee classes is really difficult, and you have to set up in a specific order, and it's it's just not very nice and very comfy to do. So basically, what you want to do is you are probably gonna do let's uh let's make a warlock, shall we? Yeah, let's make a warlock. So let's just uh let's just say this is fine. Oh. We need to give him a name. Let's just call him uh, Frank One. And then on the other account, let's just log in. And then on the other account, we're gonna make the same. But you don't necessarily. Well, you, it's usually the best to make the same uh, class because it's easier, it's easier to get around with and so forth. But um, you can actually make uh, another race or whatever um, if you have recruit a friend on, which I have. Um, I'll show you that once we get later into this. Um, so basically using Recruit a Friend is super fast and super good um, to level up. Uh, yeah, so let's just create this other guy and then just call him Frank2. And then just fucking skip this, please. And skip the next part as well. So now we have two guys. Nice. This is Frank 1 and this is Frank 2. So we have two characters now. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to change this because this looks ugly. Okay, thank you. So now we have two characters, Frank 1 and Frank 2. So now that we have the script open, the script program, uh, and for the record, it is not bannable to get, um, you know, using multiboxing. You can't get banned for it because it's not modifying the game files. And yeah, thus it's it's legit. And I have asked Blizzard support. And if you want, then you can just ask Blizzard support as well. They're just going to say as long as it doesn't modify the game files and blah, 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 then sure, you can use it. Um, and when you have the program open, you are going to click on scroll lock. You can find that above your, uh, you know, uh, key, you know, those fucking arrow keys on your keyboard. And then above the other buttons like insert, delete, end, page up, page down, home. You just click on scroll, sc scroll lock, it's called. And then it's recording. So the recording thing is that it's going to mimic everything on the other other window. So first of all, we need to define which windows we want to use. So since I have two World of Warcraft open, it's just going to be called World of Warcraft for now. But if I click Control R, 
you can see up in the top it says WoW 1 and WoW 2. Now they're called WoW 1 and WoW 2. WoW 1 is the one that's going to be the, uh, the main account and the other is going to be the secondary account. So what we want to do now is we're going to go into the secondary account and then we are going to go to key bindings because it, it's not very comfortable to have all your uh, like we're gonna use a script where it follows your main character whenever uh, it's not in combat so you just wanna unbind all your keys so it doesn't mimic those as well so unbind this all these up until jump you can use jump sit down on seat and so forth uh, you can unbind auto run because I don't like auto run so this is it okay now we're gonna create a script for the second character. This is going to assist us. Whoops. Uh, let's just put the scroll log off for a moment. Um, this is going to create. Let's just uh, create a new macro. So this one is going to mimic uh, the spell, as I was saying earlier. Uh, it's going to mimic the same spell as you're casting on your main character. Um, and that's a good thing because if you have the same class then it's easier to f f fill around with. So the thing you want to do is you're going to go um, to make it easier at first. You want to go show tool and what this does is that it is going to show the tooltip. So for example if you want to cast shadow bolt then it's going to show the shadow bolt icon. And you can just use that every time. So first things first, assist and then the main character, his name is Frank1. And then slash cast, and then you go into your spell book, and then the spell you want to click use. So this is, for example, Shadow Bolt. And Shadow Bolt is like we just put it on the bar. I forgot to take off my add ons, but it doesn't matter. It's just. It's just unlock this window for a second and then lock it. Alright, so now we have this one. This basically follows my main character, and then. I'm just gonna open it up again. So it follows my main character. No, it doesn't actually follow my main character, I'm sorry. It assists my main character and then it uses Shadow Bolt uh, on the same target as my main character is using. So um, that's pretty neat. We're just gonna go with Auto Loot and put sticky targets off. And that should be it. Um, and now we're gonna make a follow script. Another one. Um, we're just gonna call this follow script, just follow, uh, and then the main character name, Frank1. Then we just put it on the bar, and I've put that to numlock1. So whenever I press one numlock1, it's going to follow my main character. So, whoops. So now, wherever he goes, he follows. That's pretty neat. Uh, it's not. It's not really that difficult uh, and yeah so let's put scroll lock on again so that he mimics whatever I do that's nice and let's try and go over to the training dummies for a second so whenever I click it does the same and it uses the, it the exact same moment that's pretty nice so that's pretty neat. Now you can invite them to a party. I've put recruit a friend on. So um, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, you can recruit a friend by clicking on the recruit friend button. Then enter your friend's email address. Or in y in your case, it's gonna be uh, uh, your multi boxing account. Uh, if World of Warcraft if is free up until level twenty, so you can. Like level up to 20 pretty fast with a character and if you're doing it like me I just bought the battle chest then you'll basically be able to you know play beyond level 20 and get 30 days for free game time so right now he follows me around and we do the same thing so let's try to level up a little bit let's try and uh, just I don't know this is basically what what the, what the thing is so this is basically how you can multi box and you can use multiple uh, accounts for this but I would just recommend using two for starters um, it's it's pretty simple it's not really that big of a deal 
if you just follow the steps. I can provide you with uh, with uh, a, a script for five, or this in my case, I think it's four. I have a script for four uh, where I use four accounts at once, but it's pretty easy. Let's and let's go through the the script itself really quick. So first of all, the scroll lock control R which means that it renames the World of Warcraft so it knows which windows it wants to modify. Next one is launch and modify. If you have the program open, you can basically click, um, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it's actually control L and then it'll launch to World of Warcraft and rename them. But uh, I just usually just open to World of Warcraft and log in on them separately because it's easier. This just oh whoops. This just tells which which keys you want to send. This is the keys that it'll mimic, and the, except these, you have to follow the syntax so that you'll put commas, uh, and you'll have to use the exact names, which is pretty nice. Um, this is the keys that I want to move with in my first while. And this is the ones that it's gonna send it to, and yeah, this this doesn't really matter that much to be fair. There's a lot of add-ons you can get. You can get uh, such as um, auto uh, accept quests and stuff. Because right now it's not very that very neat. Because now you have to click on this one, go into the other one, click on this one, and then go back to your main. Yeah, that's pretty much what you need. Uh, to World of Warcraft account, hotkey net, set up the macros, and load the script. And then whenever you want to play, and you want the, the second WoW to mimic the first WoW, you want to press scroll lock on your keyboard, and that's it. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my, vi to my YouTube channel, and make sure that you like this video. And if you want to listen to some other cool beats, then be sure to check out my friend's uh, YouTube channel, which is called Mantra Beats. Uh, it may be subject to change, uh, I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to put his link in the description. So um, be sure to check him out as well. He's a pretty cool guy. And uh, until next, guy next time, guys.